Welcome to the Zix TV! The hand you see holding me belongs to the Zix, and I'm a Special Forces Tubi on a top secret mission. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to watch this video. As always, if you or any of your team should like this video, the director would appreciate a like and a share. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Five seconds? I gotta get out of here! Oh wow! It's Bon Bao! We got ourselves a Bon Bao set here. Mission Eagle with uh, 328 pieces and four tubies. The uh, name that Bon Bao gives to their minifigures, they're called two bees because there are two bees in Bon Bao. Uh, picked this up last year in 2015 from the Bon Bao website. Uh, they're not selling things directly on their website anymore um, but they were last year and I think Mission Eagle was uh, new for uh, 2015 last year so um, picked this up uh, had to pay had to pay shipping on it so I had to pay extra but I think it was worth it this this is a pretty good set and Mission Eagle in general is uh, is uh, some of it is an improvement over over the Bon Bao space stuff and, and other stuff if you go onto the Bon Bao website there's a, a cute little story about an enemy base uh, I think it's a radio station an enemy base and uh, your mission is to capture the base and defeat the enemy. So we got our uh, bad guy characters here. That, that looks like a bad guy. And our special forces army guys here with their combat truck there. Let's see. Get the glare off of it. And it does come with it comes with all these uh, weapons here. And there's an overview of the Bon Bao Mission Eagle. So we're going to be checking out this set in just a moment. And here it is. We got our combat truck and our tower here. This uh, radio station here. Uh, controlled by our bad guys, our 2B bad guys. Um, pretty good, uh, pretty nice build on the on the truck here and it's got this this turret up here. We got uh, we get uh, two good guys and two bad guys. Now um, there's the other side, there's the front There's the back, and he's just kind of standing there. I think it'd be nice if you could have him standing on, on a platform behind it like he's operating it, and then be able to turn it, but the way they did it, it's just on a little turntable there. Pretty cool blaster, um, machine gun type uh, turret thing. and we can fit a tubi in there he fits this time how about that we've got uh, yep it works now I just did a little bit of modification to the front part um, these headlights here the circle parts not the uh, not the square parts the circle parts were uh, up one level They're uh, bumping into the bottom of this um, underside uh, slopey slope there, and it was uh, causing, it was dislodging the, the slopey slope a bit. So we got our underside slopey slope, and I, I lowered the, uh, just by rearranging the pieces in the front here, 
I lowered the uh, the circle part with the, uh, the headlight there one plate level to be like that more to my liking um, it was it, it, it fits it, it was just kind of getting dislodged a bit from from the base there um, and I didn't like that so everything's in its proper place I just uh, rearranged the pieces and it's pretty cool that I was able to do that um, here's our combat truck enjoyable build there and the, the cute little story that we've got is that the 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 enemy they're just called the enemy and I think that's pretty cool that it doesn't really lock anything down and by by giving it a name uh, and, and none of this is named these are just like uh, army special forces uh, soldier type stuff so these guys the good guys aren't given a name either the bad guys aren't given a name and um, I like that because it doesn't lock it down too much and it enables us to uh, use our imagination a bit more than if everything was given a name and stuff uh, they they've taken over this this little base here and we got our our bad guys we're gonna have a closer look at all these minifigures in a moment Got our little bad guys taking over this this uh, little base here we got some containers up front and it looks like some missiles on the side there that they could launch some antennas and it's got studs on both sides how about that so you can attach something in there and hide it away in there and the transparent uh, transparent parts on this uh, radio station here we got some kind of uh, thing with these uh, off to the side here piece of machinery maybe and all of these uh, canisters and that looks similar to a, an old Lego part from classic Lego space with the, the ladder And we got this little tower off to the side here and they give you a chain so that one of your one of your guys you can't really grab onto it I, I don't think you can't really it's not it, it's it's not really gonna fit into his hand well there it goes well, you could swing around on it, I guess. I, I guess, I guess it, do, it does work if you do it this specific way. Let me show it up closer here. Just got his hand grabbing onto that little chain link there, so it does work. I didn't think it would work because the chain links are so uh, so thin. It wouldn't be anything for his hand to grab onto. We've got an improvement over the the pirate ship and other Bon Bao sets that have the uh, the chain links. Here's some extra pieces, a few extra guns, and seat feet. Although this set doesn't come with a, uh, a chair. Um, we get these little chain links, and I hope we can see that, that it's, uh, it's connected. There's a weak connection at the part where, uh, um, where you... you you put another chain link and attach it to it and I had to get out the scissors and break that little connection of the plastic there so it's a weak connection and then assemble my chain so this wasn't quite as bad as the pirate ship because it's just a, a short chain length it took a bit more time to assemble the chain but it's not gonna fall apart because um I broke the uh I just broke it with with my scissors the uh the weak connection there and your your chain chain links aren't going to fall apart if I uh if this was the old style of Bon Bao chain links I'd be able to pull this right out of there because 
Yeah. Now the only thing they didn't provide is this piece up at the top here for connecting it to a stud. So I stole one from the pirate ship. They, they did give a couple extra ones with the pirate ship. So I stole one from the pirate ship uh, to connect my chain here. And there's our little tower. I'm not sure what this part sticking out in the back is. Let's see if I can show the whole thing. And on the top, we got these uh, hinges with uh, little lights on them. And our radar device. Can that turn? So, there's got another hinge in the back there. We can, lots of pretty blue lights. Now, they do want you to put uh, stickers all over this, and we have uh, quite a few stickers on our, our combat truck here. We got this, this, uh, this grill sticker on the side here. We got that uh, design there. It says ME B619. And, oh, there it is. B619. We got some kind of, I don't know what that is. Any more stickers? And I think it's the same thing on the other side of the truck. So we got some stickers on the truck. And then they want you to put, uh, don't roll off on me there, stickers on the base. And they cover two pieces. Um, yeah, there it is. I guess that's the bad guy's logo. A snake or something. And they want you to put these onto the canisters. And then we got one up front there on that curb piece. Um, I didn't want to put this on there covering two pieces. You know how I feel about that. And the little ones that go on the canisters, I just didn't put them on there. I just didn't feel like it. Anyway, getting a little bit too close to G.I. Joe versus Cobra here. With the, the snake emblem for our bad guys. And we, that's a, a snaky design. Uh, and these, little, these are smaller snake emblems. There's our sticker sheet. Getting a bit too close there, but... Uh, mm, I'll overlook it. So, um, there's our um, combat truck and tower. Pretty good, uh, pretty good set for our Mission Eagle soldiers to uh, to go up against these bad guys. Uh, let's have a look at our minifigures. Here's this guy who did the introduction, and he gets a special type of helmet there. That's different from the uh, Bon Bao Space. It's got some kind of logo there. And he gets this little part that uh, partially covers up his, uh, his torso there. Not sure what that's about. Some uh, piece of armor or something. Like the other tubies, we have to uh, plug in the arms and, and the part that the, uh, the head plugs into uh, has parts that go down in there and it locks the arms in place. You can turn at the waist there and those are his little feet. And the reason why you might need seat feet is the, uh, the, the feet stick out in the back there. Here's our one of our special forces guys. And he does not have the Bon Bao logo on his back there. So they stopped doing that with the with the uh, so that's that's pretty cool not to have the Bon Bao logo on the back there and then yeah this guy is wearing some kind of mask looks like a gas mask maybe and uh, a gun actually comes with a whole bunch of different guns let's um Take that out of his hand for a moment there. Let's see if I can let's 
happy. There's his, there's his face. He's happy. He's a happy soldier. And there's his little mask. This is the part uh, that the head plugs into. So I guess you don't have to use the mask if you don't want to. It's versatile. Okay. And he gets the Mission Eagle helmet there. these guns and then we got this is a bad guy Arr! this is one of our mission eagle bad guys one of the one of the cobra guys one of the snake guys he's got this mean looking gun here and a grenade that he can hold how cool is that really like that this grenade here that is cool nice print there pretty good bad guy expression on him and one of these guys this is uh, I guess this is this the signature bad guy here's a lot of uh, Mission Eagle sets he gets a assault rifle there that looks very detailed very cool There's. He, he's he's wearing some kind of mask covering his face. He gets this helmet here. And here is the guns. Here are the guns we get. They're on this tree here, and you have to you have to separate them. There's a knife there. There's a gun. There's another gun. Very detailed. There's a gun. And flipping it over. There's a gun. Looks like he could hold on to it back here or up up front on this bar here. And then there's a gun. And that'd be some kind of pistol. Which one is the, um, that would be the assault rifle that our bad guy has, right? No? Mm, which one would be the assault rifle? This one. This one at the top here. And our grenade. A little handle for him to hold. We get this in every Bon Bao um, Mission Eagle set. Pretty cool. Uh, going beyond the Call of Duty there. Uh, normally you just expect to find a, 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 a few guns, but you get a lot to choose from. So that's really nice. All said and built, this this is a satisfactory uh, set. That the chain is an improvement. It shows that Bon Bao is uh, having a good look at themselves and looking to improve their um, their designs, their parts design. That's what it says, and we can fit him into the to the driver's seat of the truck there it shows it shows me the chain in particular shows me that Bon Bao is uh, looking at their flaws and then improving on them that's really nice we just need a little connector there so that we can connect it to the tower everything else is in good order um, the modification I did with the headlights is, is debatable whether you need to do that um, anyway, this is uh, uh, a after collecting the, uh, the the space sets and the, the pirate ship. Uh, this this is uh, a nice improvement over their previous uh, 
stuff. We, we got some stuff that's uh, definitely improved over uh, previous efforts with the space stuff. We've got, we can fit the guy in there and, and fit the top over him. That's done very well. Uh, very well thought out. We got the chain that I mentioned. Um, and uh, lots of really nice details. Um, just didn't like the, uh, the, the the stickers with uh, putting those putting those on the transparent part there. And um, just a quick note about uh, Bon Bao in general. The it, it looks like it it's probably it looks like it's a, a Lego knockoff. Well, not really, because uh, your Bon Bao pieces are taller than Lego pieces. So here's a quick comparison. We got a Lego brick here. That's a standard Lego brick. And then here's our Bon Bao brick in white here. I'm going to put them next to each other. And the Bon Bao brick stands taller. And, and the pegs stand up taller too. Let's see if I can get my fingers out of the way so we can see. So, and, and it's the same way with the, the plates. The, the plates are a bit taller too, and we got lots of plate stuff going on uh, in addition to the bricks. So, um, all, this, all, all these parts and stuff, because they're taller than Lego pieces, had to be designed from scratch to be that way. And uh, what Bon Bao has done is uh, taken the basic idea of Lego building and uh, reinvented it and made it their own. And I really like that. I really like what they've done. And with the minifigures, too. The minifigures are much different than uh, Lego minifigures. And I like that, too. I like to see... Uh, in these Bon Bao sets, something that's different. And we get all these weapons to choose from, going way beyond the Call of Duty there. Uh, really nice. And a knife and a grenade. Really nice. Really nice. Um, the, uh, the parts quality is top notch. Uh, just like Lego. Uh, they go on really firmly. Uh, they, they hang on tightly. The gripping power of your bricks and plates and stuff is really good. So much so that uh, some of this stuff will be reluctant to let go if you want to take it apart. Um, so we got good gripping power on our uh, pieces for the most part. And uh, uh, good quality ABS style plastic and quality stickers. The sticker quality was really good. Uh, much like the Lego ones with the, the, uh, the transparent part. I don't know if we can see, but it's like a Lego one. So the part around the red part is, is transparent, so that uh, it, it's in the shape of this 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 underside slope there. But uh, it's it's a transparent sticker, and this one too. So uh, they've uh, they've got good quality, and uh, Bon Bao is one of my favorite other brands. I'm not going to say knockoff. I'm not going to say uh, Lego knockoff or Lego ripoff, Lego fake Lego. It's it's not fake. It's it's real. And it's cool what they've done here. And uh, this is one of my favorite Mission Eagle sets. Really nice. Thank you for watching.